What I'm collectively hearing is that, um, for me, what I'm hearing is it's all the demo stuff. It's the stuff that may be a water issue with water, stormwater runoff, and that's why they still believe that might be an issue. If it's ground, it could be an air issue. Um, and, you know, knowing that I've taken a sabbatical, because it's hard, it's hard to do senior recycling. Um, I just jumped right into the next flame, which was I want to do engineered fuel. And um, the same kind of issues with regulatory entities. They want zero of everything. Zero lead, leads on anything, maybe some of the China stuff, some of the um, mastics that we still do, everything. You know, it still has some potential. And anything that's suspect means they want zero. And zero is impossible. If you go outside and let your children play in Missouri soil, it has lead in it. So we need to ease up and be realistic. And, and you know, again, I'm still in those same battles. That, you know, what's realistic? What's really harmful? And what's the benefit if we quit sticking on the, um, the laws that the archaic laws that need to be, you know, revised just a bit? So it's air and water that are always solid waste. Usually you can zoom through. They've eased up and they understand that, well, by God, you can divert 30,000 tons of roofing shingles from your landfill with very little asbestos issue, and you've proved that that's okay. So they've eased up, and they're, you know, they're a lot more lenient and tolerant of some of the folks like myself who just keep being pushy. But air and water is still they're still very concerned with that one tiny, tiny particle that may put us all under. And I think it's, you know, it, it needs to be addressed.